Welcome, welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise, but we exercise every day. It adds up to a lot. We finally got our uh, rings. It's been, what, two or three days during the moving process. This is our new place. We got a pretty good place for the dip rings. Again, pull-ups are going to be a little short, but we got that new knee thing we figured out. So we're going to do a set of dips for the first time in a couple days, but we are going to be doing these every day now. So they won't be as intense. I'm not going to be doing two or three sets of them. I'm just going to do the one set and then build up slowly. So let's do it, guys. Let's pop this jacket off. A little chilly out here, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm super excited to have my new place and to have the dip rings in the new spot here. There's a big old wallet in my pocket. There's keys in my pocket. I just got this set up, man. I just got this going, so I'm super excited. Um, Let's do this. We're still going to do the push-ups and squats. We're going to do everything. We got this now, man. We got this. Now, we do have our just our black resistance band I set up. because This is the only one we've been using. It's the only one we've needed. So I think we're going to be fine with just that. I did have to tie a new knot in it because it had that break in it. So we'll see how long it lasts with that knot. Who knows? By the time it breaks again, maybe we'll be ready to not have any resistance band. No assistance. Let's see how these dips go. Uh, this height's pretty good. It could be maybe a titch, a titch higher, but this is fine for our first set here. Our first set in the new place. And what's nice is there's a little bit of a uh, two, hmm, three. There we go. There's a little dip in the concrete there. Four. Uh, then I can put my feet in. Let's get five here. Oh, okay. I couldn't quite get five. That's okay. Held it for a little bit. There's a dip. The concrete comes up, but there's a little dip. And as I was leaning back, I was able to get my feet in my dip, and I was able to go a lot lower. So that's what we we're looking for. So that was great. That's what we wanted. Now with the pull-ups again, we're gonna have to. Uh... We're gonna have to get them just to up here. So you can see this isn't high enough for me. I will be using bending my knees, which I don't like. I like to have my legs swing freely. It's a little bit better. But it's okay, it's, it's still pretty good that I've got this spot. And we're just gonna be using our knees to do it. I'm trying to leave a little bit of play here so that this uh, can rotate slightly here. It's better if there's some rotation here. It's better for your wrists as you come up. Same with this one, we're gonna pull it on up. We're gonna leave a little bit of space there for wrist rotation. All right, so we got it, guys. We got it. Now, I know about this distance here, left to right. These aren't too bad. They could maybe be a little bit wider, but it's fine for today. First day in a new place. We're going to dial in on that over time. And again, here, by using this knee position, it actually makes it harder. I'm not getting as much help from the resistance band, but it's going to be able to, be, to bend both my knees, and we're just going to be holding our knees up when we do our pull-ups, which makes it a little harder, but that's okay. A little harder is fine. Let's do it, guys. One. Oh. Two. Oh. Three. Oh. Let's see, do we have four? You know, I'm just going to hang for a second here. I'm going to rest. All right, now let's go four. Oh, yeah. All the way up. There we go, guys. Now we're just hanging for a second. And actually, this thing was about to kick off. I don't love those pull ups, but hey, we got four. We got four and not as much help from the resistance being because we had our uh, our foot bowed there. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to put these up just so they're not in everybody else's way. Just so, oh, all right, this plane is not working at all. All right, guys, there we go. Just so they're not in everybody else's way when they're walking through that area. So they're hanging for everybody. So we're going to toss this back on. And we're gonna grab our keys and wallet. And uh, yeah, so this is the new place. This is the basement entrance back here. So it's kind of cool. I like having that entrance here. And uh, now we still don't have the room set up right. We finally have the bed set up, which is nice. But we definitely don't have the, um, we don't have everything set up yet. But that's okay. That's okay, we got a bunch of junk everywhere, it's fine. The bed's set up, so that's, that's pretty good. And uh, we'll get the rest set up soon.
What we do have, which is really awesome, is we do have our squat bar. Let's see, there's a window here, so I can actually put this in the window sill. Maybe I can get a better view on the squats. Let's get this jacket off again. Usually I have that low view on the squats, which is nice because you get to see a couple things, but this is, not, this, is this is specifically not supposed to be on the ground. On the barbecue sauce. A little sideways. It's okay. When you live with kids, these things happen. Anyway, I've got... um. The bar. I have the straightening bar this time, so I'm super excited about the straightening bar. So let's go ahead. I'm going to leave this. Uh, you're not going to see the bottom of the squat as much. Let's kick the shoes off, but that's fine. I'm just happy to be doing squats again with my squat bar. Let's put this a little bit lower. How's that look? It looks okay. It's nice and messy in the room. Now here, one of the things we talk about is keeping that head tucked. So one of this distance to stay the same as we go up and down. Not look up as you're doing your squats. You want to keep that tucked like that. That's important. We're going to get this set. I might pull the shirt off halfway through here. We only did 53, I think, last time. We really would like to get over 60, and 70, 75 is our, like, mm, good number. We have done 85. That's our max. Let's come down here. I feel like I'm a little, my, my uh, hips felt a little too wide there, so I'm pulling my knees in a little bit. Going a little closer to shoulder width on my feet. Two. Really want to make sure this feels good as you do it. Three. Make sure the head stays with your chest. Four. All right, we're getting locked in. Five. Definitely a little full in the stomach too, but that's the way it goes. Six. Woo, we're getting our squats started. Seven. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to this grip here where you're not gripping the handle. You're just leaning it. That keeps me from overworking that flexor there. Eight. Keep that head tucked. Nine. It's nice to have the squat bar back. Ten. I'm just going to keep going. Eleven. Twelve. Starting to pick up a little speed here. Thirteen. A couple knee pops there. <laughs> Hip pops. Fourteen. We're getting into it. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, all the way down to a sitting position each time. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, all right, 25. This is half our minimum. I'd like to do more than the minimum. And I'm really trying to make this one set, so I'm not trying to take a minute here, but holy monkey, is it hot. And I do have shorts on under here, so we'll just kick those off. Kick the sweatpants off. It's harder than a biscuit in here. So we got 25. Let's bust 50. Maybe we can bust 60 today. That would be good. Let's get the head tucked. Get those legs spread a little bit. All right, so 26. Try to get this bar in just the right position. 27. It's not quite right. 28. Whatever, you got to keep going. Get it set up again. 29. 30. You know, I'm good if I'm panting like a frog. <laughs> 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, keep it going baby. 39, 40, all right, so the first 40 are given, man, they're given. 45 is the old minimum, 50 is the new minimum. 
41. Let's see how many we can get. 42. Keep that head tucked. 43. 44. We'll blow past that old minimum. 45. Somebody's trying to call me. We're not answering. 46. Woo. 47. There we go. 48. Oh. 49. Oh. There we go. Now we got to our new minimum, 50. We haven't done less than 50 in a little while. 51. Let's get up there, boys. What to do? Somebody's trying to call me. I'll call them back. What to three? Oh, we're getting to 60 today. 54. Oh. 55. Oh. 56. Oh. 57. Oh. Make that ugly face and keep going. 58. Oh. 59. Oh. 60. Oh, that was really not that bad. That 60 wasn't bad. That's giving me my new minimum soon. And then 70, and then 80, and then 85. Our max will be our new min. But anyway, guys, we got somebody calling us, but we're gonna call them back. We're gonna call them back. We're doing those push ups. We're absolutely beat. We're doing the push ups. There's a bunch of junk on the floor. We're doing the push ups. You're not gonna get an angle. It doesn't matter. We're doing the push ups. We're doing this right here. Get that body tight and straight. Keeping those elbows. Elbows need to be back like this. Let's get these a little bit behind the shoulder. Get the head straight. One, two, three, four. Keep that flat form strong. Five, oh yeah. Six, uh, seven. Uh, we got eight. Uh, we don't want to stop at eight this time. We got nine. Nine is good. Not as good. We get 10 and more sometimes, but that's good for today. Keep it up, guys. A little bit of exercise every day adds up to a lot. See you guys next time. Good luck with your daily commitments. Bye-bye.